Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving on the Northern Coastal Highway and we're driving through St. Anne. We are driving on, we're driving through Priory. Now, it was announced recently that the government is going to expand this road. Now, this is the Northern Coastal Highway. It was built years ago, a long time, before Highway 2000. And this is what was considered a highway back then. This road runs from Port Antonio to Nigrid. So we're going through Priory now, but you notice Priory is a very developed place. So you have a lot of traffic delays when you're traveling here. So the government announced recently that they are going to be expanding the Northern Coastal Highway between Ocho Rios and St. Anne. And that fault, Priory falls within that area. So you see, you have a car stopped here on the left. You see, you have to slow down. So it's not what you would consider a modern highway now. There's another car park there. And Jamaica has a lot of indisciplined drivers. So in the evenings, this place is congested with traffic. So the government announced that they're going to build a bypass, a four lane dual carriageway with a concrete barricade, just like Highway 2000. So it's a major infrastructure project in Jamaica and it's, it should get started soon. China Harbor Engineering Company is a contractor that goes without saying and that highway is going to there are three bypasses that are going to be built on the first section. Uh, Priory is going to get a bypass, Runaway Bay is going to get a bypass, and Discovery Bay is going to get a bypass. So what that means is the road is no longer going to run through Priory. They're going to build it and you go around Priory. So you, unless you have business to do in Priory, you just continue going straight on the highway, which is very good because this entire north coast of Jamaica is the number one tourist spot in Jamaica. This, between Negril, Montego Bay and Ocho Rios, that's where most of the tourists go. And with the major tourist attractions in Ocho Rios, like Duns River Falls, Mystic Mountain, Dolphin Cove, it doesn't matter where in Jamaica you're staying, you're going to visit Ocho Rios. And to get to Ocho Rios, this is the road you're going to need to take. Coming from Negril, Montego Bay or even Portland. So it's very important that this road be upgraded to a four lane road. And we are going through Richmond now. And this is also a part of the road that's going to be upgraded. So the government is going to be spending more money on this road than they have on any other road in Jamaica. But this road has outgrown its usefulness. Or not, I shouldn't say it like that. This road has gotten so busy that it needs to be upgraded to four lanes because it's a major thoroughfare for the north coast. And also when the cruise ships come in, you have a lot of tours that go to Ocho Rios. So you have to have the road um, so that persons can get to these tourist destinations and back to the ship easily and the road isn't blocked. There was an incident a few years ago where they had a party at Pearl Beach or Pearly Beach and the persons blocked the, parked up and blocked the road. It started to rain and the police, I think they said didn't have raincoats so the police were no longer monitoring the road and persons just parked anywhere and blocked up the road and it took hours for the road to be cleared and persons that were trying to get to the airport or from the airport to their hotel weren't able to and it created a serious problem so that's one of the main reasons why they are expanding the road one is the the traffic that uses the road and two is because of that incident they need a road to be wider so that persons can easily move about that's a Texaco gas station on the left and quite a few gas stations have opened up on this road but a lot of development is going on in this area. That's another reason why they need to expand the road. Drax Hall alone is the fastest growing community in Jamaica, thousands of homes. This is another complex that's going up on the right. So that just adds to even more traffic in the area. 
paradise paradise something we'll we'll make videos of all of these developments soon So it's very good that the government is going to be expanding this road. Very good. And as we said, this was what was considered a highway Jamaica in Jamaica back in the day. But as you've seen, Jamaica has some very nice modern highways that what would be considered by international standards to be a highway. So it's very good that they're going to be upgrading this road to that kind of quality highway or that type of highway basically and one thing to point out is that you don't have to pay toll to use the road we're on and the road that the government is going to be upgrading to you don't have to pay toll to use that road that's very important to point out 